All right, so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube and not just lately, just in general. And I noticed this uh, sort of trend of desk videos and I do enjoy them. So I thought, why not do sort of a behind the scene of Spill the Beans and also sort of a desk setup video. So let's do that. But first, let me go get a coffee. All right, I'm good to go now. So my desk setup is by far not the cleanest setup or minimalist you would find because there's a lot of things on it and there's a lot of things I need. So first let's start to the far end that you don't actually see. I have these sort of hardware uh, cabinets that are usually for nails and screws and things like that that I used to put different things that I often need like adapters and things like that and then I make sure to label all the little drawer to easily access them but you know after a while I'm kind of used to where they actually are but still it's nice to have them labeled. Next we get to the actual sort of centerpiece of the desk which is the main area where my computer and everything is. So first I did get myself some brand new speakers last week. These are the M Audio BX3, which are actually standing on some Canto supports to angle them. And then, you know, there's, these are really small speakers, but I really enjoy the sound. They're reference speakers and the sound quality out of them is actually really good. So really happy with that. Moving on, I have a USB slash memory card reader, which is a Ugreen one. And I really like it because it's made to sort of put your phone onto it, but I don't use it for that. I use that groove for the phone to actually put memory cards in there so that I have some memory cards handy whenever I need to grab one to film some B-roll or things. Next to that, I do have an Apple Watch charger because as great as these watches are, battery life is not exceptional. So whenever I'm at the desk and working for a while and then I see that the power is at 50%, I would just simply drop it on there for 30 minutes and then impressively it's fully charged after that. So that's why I did put this Apple Watch charger on there. Next we have the two lights that are lighting me right now. These are just standard basic Ikea lights that I've put some diffuser that I got with some flash. I just had these laying around. They're from Pergear. I did get them with some flash reflectors and I thought they might fit right over them and then yeah luckily they do fit so it helps diffuse the light for me so with two basic ikea lights to light me up whenever i'm doing my videos and then what's actually filming me to make these videos is an xt3 that is permanently mounted on the arm that's holding my computer screen and then that way i can use it for video conferencing and for making these videos and that's how i can kind of keep the same framing all the time and then i don't have to remove the camera i just leave it permanently there and then like i said it's sitting on the monitor arm and then i rigged up an assortment of small rig magic arm and then arca swiss plate and then i did put the metal hand grip on the xt3 so that it's easily you know mounted onto the arm itself and removable if i ever needed to remove it and then on the xt3 also for making these videos i have a set of rode wireless go so that i can have you know sound coming in and then i can actually put the microphone right in front of me it used to be next to it plugged in directly into the xt3 and then i found the sound was a little bit you know far away so that's why i started using the wireless go to have the road video mic pro right in front of me and then there i just said it whenever i'm recording these videos i do have a road video mic pro right in front of me now i did mention that my monitor is mounted on a monitor arm and that helps it sort of have that floating look onto my desk so that whenever i look at my screen you know i have a clear view and it just looks like it's floating and then speaking of my screen it's an asus monitor a 4k monitor quite useful for me you know making videos and then editing photos it's quite nice to have a 4k panel and i believe it's a 28 inch monitor now under the screen, I do use the MX keys for keyboard and then the MX Master 3 for my mouse. And I've been loving them. They're really, really useful. The MX3 with Final Cut just works like a breeze. Now the keyboard and the mouse are sitting on a very basic giant mat, uh, which I really like. It's waterproof as well. And uh, yeah, it's just very comfortable. Now behind that screen, I do have a brand new 
uh, Mac Mini M1, the 16 gig version that I use for making videos now because my old PC started acting up. So we went ahead and got a Mac Mini M1 and I've been really happy with this Mac Mini. It's quite incredible running these XT3 files, the H.265. I used to use Premiere with proxies and then now switching to the Mac Mini, I figured, you know, I might as well give Final Cut a shot because you know it's optimized for the m1 chip and sure enough you know it's it's it takes a little bit of adjustment but i've been finding some incredible tools in final cut just like titles as you saw through this video these are really helpful i used to track you know keyframe by keyframe and then now with these plugins it's quite incredible so really happy with the mac mini m1 uh, and final cut pro now moving on i do have some wireless headphones onto a stand whenever i want to listen to some music and i don't want to disturb my girlfriend because i do like to listen to music really loud whenever she's home i do use these now just next to it i do have an old iphone 6 something that i just use to monitor my security camera that's in my driveway so whenever someone's coming in delivering a package i know right away and then also just for security purposes obviously just under that i do have the black magic ata mini which is quite useful for doing live videos for example but also to monitor myself i'm filming now this video and then i can see myself using obs software just as a reference monitor it's right there and i can see that i'm in focus i'm in frame and everything so that's really useful for that but also mainly for you know doing live stream now just next to that i do have my AirPods that are sitting there. So I use my AirPods whenever I'm editing videos. And again, my girlfriend is there. She doesn't want to hear me saying stuff over and over. So I use these uh, AirPods to edit my videos and then not disturb anyone because the latency is actually very low. And then I can, you know, just scroll through and the audio will sync. So really helpful. Now behind that, it might seem insignificant, but I do have a cable for charging. So I have little adapters for all of my peripherals plugged in. And then whenever I need to charge one of them, I just pull out the cable and then I can charge them. So my keyboard has that adapter my mouse has it. My AirPods has them. And it just makes it really easy to have a cable, one cable to charge all of my peripherals. Now, next to that, I do have an organizer that is not so organized, but I just put some stuff that I use regularly, pencils and X-Acto knife and things like that. And some important papers as well that I will need eventually. Next to that, I do have my audio mixer that I use to get the audio out of the Mac mini, but also so that I can listen to music on my turntable, which is right next to it. And then the last piece on the actual desk is going to be this uh, new Akai MPK Mark III that I just got yesterday because I do want to get back into trying to make some music and stuff. And I like to sample as well. That's why I have the turntable. So yeah, that about covers it for this behind the scenes slash desk setup uh, Spill the Beans video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments while well, leave them down in the comment section down below and if you're not subscribed already please consider hitting that subscribe button to get more videos like this now i'm gonna go and make some beats